Right, the charger's here anyway for the Zoe. And you've got 32 amp and 7.2 kilowatts, which the Zoe should take, which is all good. And then we've got a box. Is that like an isolator or a fuse, is it? It's a fuse, fuse. Uh, spur, yeah. Yeah, with uh, USB ports. Two USB sockets. And then that needs to go on the wall as well, underneath the fuse box inside. And normally we'll install one of them low, low oh, for okay. the uh, little enclosures as well. Nice it's going to look like, like an electrician's nail. <laughs> Outhouse. <laughs> if you've got a space in your house, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> right, cool. So that's what it is. But if we go back inside now, we need to get. Wow, it's not a lot of room actually. Now I look at it, is it? No, it's not. Is that? Here's your coffee, there. Oh, thanks, mate. There's the cable. Here's all this stuff, ready to fit, and it's actually going to go there. Was originally going to go there, but as he pointed out, when you come out the door at night, you're going to trip over the cable. Plus, the car's parked further up the drive, so it's going to go there. Finally get to put this away as well. After using this for a month. Thank goodness. He's popped off to get another breaker to uh, fit in because he needs one. And slowly getting there. Come together. Apparently about four or five hours. Put the cable in. It's going up into the fuse board. Here we're getting the wall unit on. And there's the insides of it, if anyone's interested. It's quite a lot of kit in there, isn't there? Yeah. It's far cry from the other one on the wall. We used to have BMW ones, which were basically like this big. Wow. Okay. And then all they had was basically that there, and then everything else was just right. the yeah. show, really. Yeah. But everyone mm. kept complaining. Yes, I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's pretty compact, isn't it? It looked quite fancy, but it was just... Too big. Well, mm. oh, they're on the wall now, are they? Yeah, it's all on the wall now. Yeah. Oh, wow, well, okay, yeah. So this is communicating. <laughs> Basically, with the outside world, isn't it? This is, uh, yes. It's and going through the network, so... The network... It, the USB and all sorts. Yeah, this is a power in the unit, and the charger talks to this, and then there is a Wi-Fi uh, receiver which yeah. will be talking to your router. In right, house. okay. Do you know anything further about what they actually do with that? They turn my charger on and off, aren't they? They got actually, um, they are in charge of your charger. Yes. yes. They got complete control over it, but it is free, yeah. so <laughs> that's the only reason I signed it's up for it. It's the company called uh, Electric Nation. The, right, okay. That's, that's the guys who yeah. are in charge because you take the part of the program with the Western Power. Yes managing the grid in the future yeah that's what it is yeah it's probably easy to pay 99 quid isn't it, to have one fit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but never mind yeah <laughs> i thought i'd take part anyway boom and there she is look at that big old beast lovely wow it's lit up that's all good tell me about that even back in your house for you as well that's service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's all installed, it's all good to go. Right, you've got blue for charging, it's just on their testing at the moment. But blue for charging, green for ready. And then when the car's plugged in, it tells you the energy that you consume, which is quite neat, and how long it's been charging for. So that's pretty cool. Like that uh, mechanical lock as well. So it locks the cable in this side, and of course the car locks it in that side when it's charging. Um, yeah. So that's all good. Completed. A good job well done. Okay, got a cable out to go and give it a go. It's never actually been used. So I need to unwrap it all and use it for the first time. Right, gonna plug this in. First time. We should try it out, see if it works. And we are on, uh, I'll tell you percentage in a minute. When Angie boots up. 65%. There we go. So, put that in there, like so. Watch out for the loud bang. All right, is that working? That's the question. Ongoing checks. Yep, yeah, perfect. Four hours, 45 minutes remaining. Charging. All good. I think we got. We have got a winner. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Okay, off we go. Off out.
energy consumed 2.36 kilowatts in 21 minutes right let's see how this works can't disconnect that you see uh, wow 71 percent press that did i just hear that kick that out no that's locked in still let's disconnect it and then shut that you can always one-handed that's gone green so that's fine so that's good to use i'm just gonna for now put that over that way so the rain doesn't get in it but otherwise there we go plug available sweet okay we're on 47 percent and it says four hours and 50 minutes until it recharges and the time is 1903 so we'll come out and check in a couple of hours time if i remember and just see how much has been pushed out by the charging unit and what the percentage is okay we are two hours in uh, and i cannot see what that says 81 percent charged it's exactly two hours i uh, set a timer to let me know um so it's gone up quite significantly hasn't it in a fairly short space of time it's got up almost what's that 40 almost 40 percent is it in two hours okay and what we got here we've got a bit of condensation in here already but anyway try and get it on camera for you it's 15 kilowatts in two hours exactly so there you go 15.1 kilowatts two hours that answers that question that's all good One thing I'm going to do is I am going to change I am going to change the setup um, okay. charging schedule I'm going to say start at that time and what happens then is it brings that up onto the screen. And I'm gonna say, done. Job done. There we go. So that's set up now. So if I go back in, go to, um, not services, go to vehicle, electric vehicle, charger scheduler, set up there so that's the difference you can have that's the options and so it's it'll start charging at midnight essentially that's what it is or you can just turn that on and it goes back to that so if you turn on the other one it turns it off there you go clink and say done but then it's actually displaying something on the let's have a look what the screen says yeah charging has it reset that might have done let's have another look what it does it's not cycling around nope so it's still yeah two hours three minutes so it's still charging that's fine right now you're going to check this menu again there's a vehicle a vehicle uh, charge the schedule set up for that that's absolutely fine brilliant i'm actually going to charge to 100 percent now but from now on i will have it on that so I can plug it in and it'll start charging at midnight on economy seven, super cheap. Okay, I've run the battery down, not to the bottom. I've got about 20 miles left. Um, it's at 15%. Let's see what the charge time will be once we're plugged in. Um, but the important thing to remember is about the last hour and 20 minutes is from when it's 90% upwards. So the last 10%, about an hour and 20 of that, you can almost discount off the charge because um, it brings it to about 91, 92%. And it takes about another hour and a bit, hour and 20 to, to top it off the last 8 to 10%, which is pretty crazy. Anyway, let's see what it is. Okay, I've jumped up one already. Wow, okay, so six hours. As I say, probably five up to 91, 92%. Slightly less than five hours. So that is, yeah, a ridiculously quick charge. That is really, really good. 